All right, yes. and that's a good place for us to have you in, uh, Wakili. Let's talk about that and, and some of the issues that he's raised. Um, what would your response be to matters of security, matters of irrigation, matters of uh, the skewed appointments which you uh, yourselves have raised? I think what, what we in Jubilee are seeing is a lot of positive efforts in terms of governmental programs in terms of infrastructure development, in terms of education, in terms of health, unprecedented programs in this country. And we have a huge uh, expansion, expansionist program, police uh, investment in security, investment in many programs. But what I would want to say is that both corruption and insecurity are challenges. They are not our failures. We have a lot more successes on, on health, uh, maternal, you know, maternal programs mm -hmm. by the president, supplemented by the first lady. Uh, we've got <coughs> very good programs on education, the 60 tertiary institutions, uh, another 70 coming up in this financial year. Uh, the investment in leasing of police vehicles, we have a lot more faster mm -hmm. response mm -hmm. uh, by police than what used to happen before. Right. But then what has happened to our regime and to our administration is the attacks by Al-Shabaab. And, and those are now attacks that as a country, in fact, what we are asking of the code coalition is that on the question of insecurity let us not have jubilee and code because if we have jubilee and code on insecurity we just end up creating more avenues right. uh, for the attack so how would it how would it work if you're talking about um, a concerted effort between um, the two mm -hmm. how would it work when jubilee is the one in government and the one tasked mm -hmm. with keeping kenyans secure what support is that that would come from code that would help in the fight against terror for I example i think that there's a lot of things that they can do for instance this question of having KDF in, 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 in Somalia. Uh, when the decision to have KDF in Somalia was taken was during the Grand Coalition government when uh, a lot of the uh, opposition leaders now were actually in government mm -hmm. and the country went out for Operation Linda Nchi with the belief that if you let Al-Shabaab grow, it's going to grow and, and, and affect us some more. <coughs> but that's still the reasoning even now, mm -hmm. that if you leave Somalia, then Al-Shabaab is completely unchecked and, and, and there's going to be more effect of it.